Hello folks, good evening, it is Freezeair here, and welcome to the first bonus episode of Let's Play Little Monster. I said in the uh, game itself that I would be taking a look at some of the other things available here on the fine menu, such as the picture book and the music, and I will indeed be doing that today. And the first thing I'm going to look at is the picture book. The picture book chronologues, chronologues, yes, that's what the word I want. All of the monsters you have seen in all three of the save files in the game, you don't have to get all the monsters on one save file in order to complete the picture book. And every time you use a monster, it gets added to the picture book. And I have spent some time filling out the picture book, you know, getting as many of the monsters as possible. And now I'm going to show them to you with all of their fine descriptions. This should be fun. The picture book also has some nice music you don't get to hear anywhere else in the game. Give it a listen, it's pretty sweet. Doo. Yeah, let's get started. Picture book, select a monster. Okay, Marion. A very popular monster. He is friendly and prankish. He's also number one. Number two, Ace. Seems snobbish, but in fact, is nice. Number three, Kelly. Cranky little guy, but he is always nice to Libby. Aw, isn't that sweet? He and Libby are friendsies. Of course, we have Libby next. Pampered and dislikes fighting. Unless you're me, in which case, I use Libby to kick an awful lot of butt. But that's because I like Libby. Number five, Buster. Talkative and impatient. And that's all you're gonna get. He has three words to describe him. Talkative and impatient. Do you suppose he's like the actual Buster Bunny from Tiny Toons? I don't know. Bass. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Honest and popular with the other monsters. She's everybody's friend. Number seven, Giran. Likes fighting and is never content. He's a little pugilistic guy. Guran says he's Patran's pupil, but Patran denies this. Well, his name is Patran, one would assume that he's a patron. <laughs> Number nine, Patran, a proud but soft-hearted monster. He's your gentle giant type, one presumes. Luver, patient and calm. He is a gourmet and eats slowly. Ooh, seems Luver's a bit of a foodie. Mm mm mm. Harry. Usually calm, but once angered, BEWARE! I would say that's like Sonic the Hedgehog, whom he resembles, but let's face it, Sonic's never calm. Zubata, or Zubadan according to the manual, looks like he enjoys fighting, but in actuality is very mellow. Maybe that's why he's yellow. He's mellow yellow. He's a mellow yellow fellow. Tongo, lazy most of the time, but able to focus when it matters. Then Icarus, a rare monster from far away. His personality is a mystery. Well, that's easy. All you have to do is play his 3DS game. See? See what I did there? It's a Kid Icarus of me, da, 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 Not funny. And I gotta stop making the not funny joke, because the not funny joke is not funny. Argon! Ferocious and a follower of Cool Joe. Also, a noble gas. Also, an excellent Let's Player. I should put a link to his, um, uh, profile somewhere in here, just because I feel like pimping him. Even though I'm sure he has way more viewers than I do. In fact, I know he does. It's Sarko! Yearns to be human and dislikes being called a monster. Well, she certainly resembles a tiny girl person. She also looks like someone. Oh, I know, to continue the Tiny Toons thing. She looks like Elmira, doesn't she? She's got kind of like the same funky hairstyle going on in the skirt. Although I don't think Elmira ever had jewels in her hair or a weird little cane. It's Sarmi! Says he's an ally of justice, but he doesn't fight fairly. I'll say he doesn't. He's like an easy-to-fight monster that has Meteor Drive in his deck. There is no way that's fair. It's sorry. This is not a stuffed animal. Don't let its looks fool you. Of course it's not a stuffed animal. It's a person in a stuffed animal suit. I don't know what you're getting at. Pocky! It's not a delicious cookie snack. It is a monster that takes to people right away. Smart, so keep an eye on him. Or else he'll vanish and steal all your Pocky. Wahaha. <laughs> Ulan. Intelligent and understands some human speech. Very smart kitty. And that leads to Rob. Cute monster that loves gem battles. Yes, indeed, a very cute monster, and proves that cute monsters can fight. Now we get to, we have a lot of three-letter monster names here. Hot, our good friend Hot, usually lives in snowy mountains, loves to sleep. So there's nothing hot about Hot, but Hot does indeed like to hibernate, as his gem suggests, or her gem, considering that LP was our Hot. 
And we have Pot, who lives in a cave, so he doesn't have many monster friends. He is literally the monster that lives in the cave with presumably an internet connection and just sits there all day making posts on Facebook. He has lots of friends on Facebook, just not in real life. Hat, yippee ki -yay. Won't go out without his cap. Rumor has it that he is bald. Now, considering that these monsters are presumably all covered in fur, I wonder what that looks like. Does he just have a bare, fleshy patch on top of his head, but plenty of fur everywhere else? Mule. Only those who are pure can see him. I don't know about that, because I see him right now, and I'm definitely not pure. Unless they mean pure in the virginal sense, in which case... How did this get into an E-rated game again? Macron! An aloof monster who doesn't think deeply about things. And she whips her hair ever so slightly back and forth. Art! who fought with us and beat Chromar for us. Resistant to cold and hates Cool Joe. You bet he hates Cool Joe. He beat up that Chromar like it was nobody's business. Sure, it took 33 attempts, and yes, I counted eventually, but he did it for us. Let's see, Moko. Inexperienced, but makes up for this fact by trying hard. You go, Moko. You go, Glenn Moko. Noob, doesn't use gems effectively. Will someone please help him out? You may notice that the text is advancing before I say anything. Er, did I say things before the text advances? And no, this is not desynced, although I have had audio sync issues in the past. I just know most of these because I used to just go through this book as a kid. Cab Cho. This was actually the very last monster I added to this book. We'll eat anything, including gems. So uh, keep your gems away from them if you don't want to lose them. Also keep your fingers away. Calgon, an old monster who wants to retire from gem battles. Yes, this is the one that I told you about. How uh, Calgon wants to retire, and I guess this is supposed to be reflected in his deck or something, which is very self-defeating. Very defeatist the deck. Taurus, the monster that I killed myself very often. Violent monster, don't anger him. I can vouch for that. Then we have Helion, who is the monster we ended the LP on. Aims to be the best gem battler. He wants to be the very best. Like no one ever was! And he was, because he beat Gizmo for us, so you go, Helion. Or rather, she, because I guess we've sort of been somewhat consistently referring to LP as a she. Mac Mickey! Raids near water, gets angry when anyone calls him poop. I think that thing on his head is supposed to be a shell, but it does sort of resemble a cartoon interpretation of poop. Let's see, then we have Pipino, our mushroomy friend. Only comes out when the weather is nice and warm. Well, Pipino would love it here, because the weather here has been very nice and very warm the past couple of days. Not at all like typical Arizona weather, it's been like in the mid-80s today. And I know for most of you that probably sounds sweltering, but that's paradise as far as Arizona is concerned. Popoki! That's fun to say, Popoki. Excellent sense of battle! What makes him so strong? Um, the fact that they gave him a really well-programmed gem deck? I don't know. Prop! Good at fast flying fights! Well, that would be great if you could fly in this game. Oh well, Prop, you're still a cute little bumblebee! Popper! Breeds quickly, united closely to its own kind. Except in this game, monsters don't breed, they just propagate by having gems put in cans. But I get those gems gotta come from somewhere. Superb defensive capabilities, or abilities, which would be great, except in this game, there is really no defense except for a couple certain gems, you just have more HP. Gyro, Cool Joe's pet monster, ignores all gem battle rules. And, you know, you would think that this guy has another eye on the other side of his head, but no, he doesn't. He is legitimately a Cyclops. I figured that out recently. Pack em. None of the other monsters want to be seen with him. I bet he and Pot like to hang out, just sitting around in his cave, complaining about how the world hates them. They are the emo kids of the monster world. Nico acts like an old man and he smells kind of funny. His cave has no internet connection then because he's old and old people dislike technology, I suppose. Elias, the first thing to kill us, an alien monster originally from another planet. Yet despite being from another planet, he apparently follows the same biology as the monsters here because he comes from a gem just like everybody else. Image. Clumsy and isn't comfortable around others. The awkward penguin monster. Wave. Believes he is the best looking monster. Even his book text acknowledges what a beachy monster he is. Although I'm not sure if that thing on his forehead is supposed to be like a power gem 
or another eye. He does appear to have a dapper little tie, though, and pumps from the looks of it. I don't know, he's got weird little shoes going on. Ribbon! Doesn't enjoy fighting, but will if he is pushed. Pio! A great monster, who enjoys participating in gym battles. Yes, indeed. Pio, you are very good, and we enjoy having you around, Pio. Thank you for your participation. Ferio, a legendary hero. All monsters want to get along with him. Yes, indeed. Everyone wants to get along with the monster who is born from the swastika gem. Hebo doesn't use his brain much. <laughs> Poor Hebo. Even the book acknowledges that he is the very derpiest of all the monsters. Although, I consider Hebo very valuable for researching this game, if only because he has no inherent power and has a few other special features about him, which we will show off in another bonus video. Gizmo! More violent than other monsters. A terrifying devil! This... I know what happened to him. Somebody fed him after midnight. That's precisely what happened. And then Crowmar! Cruel, showy, narcissistic, and strong. Yes, all of the above. I am ticking that box with my very darkest pencil. Yeah, I hate you and your stupid yellow shoes, Cromar. Then we get to Cupie, a coward who someday wants to be strong. You keep dreaming, Cupie. Live the impossible dream! Kabara. When threatened, he will roll up into a ball to protect himself. He definitely looks like the sort of monster who rolls up into a ball to protect himself. Maybe, like, he and Harry and Tricky should all get together and be, like, not Sonic the Hedgehog. Who do you suppose is who? I guess since Kabara's kind of orangey, that would make him Tails? But he rolled into a ball like Sonic. I don't know. Akua. Best swimmer among all the monsters. I do not know what Akua is supposed to be. He has, like, sort of a doggish face, but ram horns, and he apparently swims really well. I guess he's got kind of a fishy tail, and are those supposed to be gills on his chest? I don't know. Maybe he's a Capricorn. Gajul! Violent-tempered. Loves fighting! And puts his hands on his hips as if to say, Oh no, you didn't, girlfriend! Tricky! Quick learner and always positive. You go, Tricky. Spider! Conceited and not very friendly. Even this spider isn't very nice to people. Although, you were very friendly and useful to us, so Spider, we thank you. And finally, the very last monster in the book, Copini. Seems cute, but in reality is tough and silent. 58 seems like an awkward number of monsters to have in the game, doesn't it? Especially when there are 60 gems, but that's all there is. I know, as a kid, it bugged the heck out of me, and I tried to do everything to look for monsters 59 and 60, but as I alluded to in the Let's Play, as far as I can tell, this is all there is. In the instruction manual, it actually says something along the lines of you may need to trade to see all the monsters, but I did some fiddly diddling around with game shark codes, messed around with, you know, changing monster species, and from what I can tell, monsters 59 and 60 just flat out don't exist. I hacked monsters to be you know, my monsters to be those two, but they have weird names that look kind of legitimate, but don't, and they have bizarre stats, and just nothing about them seems right. As far as I can tell, they are not legitimate, and I'm sorry if I sound weird, but my nose is really itchy for some reason. Anyway, that's enough of the picture book. Let's have a look at the music. As you might expect, the music is the sound test. You could listen to a lot of songs in the game, but it's kind of, sorry, mic bump, nice because they give lots of the songs little names, like Little Battle and Wave Battle. And it's nice to see all the s names of the songs. There's also sound effects you can listen to. What's weird is that most of the sound effects don't appear in the game. Like, there's this weird little charging up sound effect, which sounds like it's meant to be the healing sound effect, but it doesn't actually play in the game. It's very strange. You can hear some of them, but... Interestingly, there is one song in this game which I have never heard in the game, and as far as I can tell, it is exclusive to the sound test. It is... Where is it? Not Trolling Shell. It's called Dream Hour. And I'll be quiet and listen to Dream Hour, and we'll see how kind of peculiar it is. It doesn't appear anywhere in the game.
and that's really all there is to it. It just kind of repeats after that. It sounds kind of like an alternate game over sound, but, you know, that's obviously not the game over they use. The game over they use is this one. So I really don't know what happened there. Oh, and if you're wondering why the finale was called You Got Monster, it's because that's the name of the credits music in the sound test. The sound test is open from the very beginning, you don't have to beat the game or anything, so you can just listen to all these cool tunes whenever you like. And I do appreciate that because, 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 because of the wonderful things he does. Do -do 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 -do. Because I really do like the music in this game, and I think it has a lot of great songs in it. Such as... Not this one! Little Battle is my least favorite song in the game because it's so repetitive. But like, Wave Battle. And anyway, that is the... How do I get out of here? Oh yes, start button, I forgot that. Um, that is the last of the options here. There is a link option, but that only works if you have a Game Boy Link cable. You can trade gems and things with your friends, and that's the only way to get, like, more than one meteor drive for your deck, for example. Um, obviously I can't do that because I'm not using an emulator that supports linking, but, you know, uh, I never did it in real life either, because I think I've seen another copy of this game in the wild maybe once. <laughs> I really should have bought it then. I should have, you know, had some linking fun and just cheated out one of my games and given it like nine meteor drives. In my main file of this game, I actually have nine of almost all the gems. I don't have the Dowser and Dragon Scale gems, because as I alluded to, my first file, I kind of messed up those fights. But, you know, it'd be fun to have all those, you know, just beat the game over and over again. But, I think for now, I will leave you here on the title screen. Thank you for joining me in this bonus episode. In the next bonus episode, I think I'll show off a couple things I neglected to show off in the main game. Like a couple of the items I missed, and maybe a couple fun new decks. So, see you then.